A group of leaders from the south-south region of the country have now passed a vote of confidence on President Bola Tinubu's government. They also commend the giant strides of the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory and former Governor of River State, Hiesam Wike. Nigerians are no doubt facing economic hardship caused by necessary economic reforms and policies of government. In the midst of numerous challenges, this group of South-South leaders, known as the Citizens Network for Peace and Development in Nigeria, openly support these government policies. They say ongoing infrastructural development and the determination to reposition the economy are evident for all to see. The group believes there is light at the end of the tunnel and encourages citizens to keep hope alive. We have attained relative and realistic stability in the management of the Naira and FDIs are growing by the day. The private sector is being encouraged with all the required support to grow and produce what we need and what we consume as a nation. Local content is being seriously encouraged and the government has opened its doors to us Nigeria to build an all-inclusive country. We are no Nigerian is shortchanged by those who have invaded to destroy our nation by their own personal greed and aggrandizement. There is currently no love loss between the former River State Governor Yesom Wiki and his successor Simlaya Fubara due to some unresolved political differences. But this group says the many achievements of Mr. Wiki as Minister of the FCT cannot be undermined by political situation in River State. They say Yesom Wiki's appointment as FCT Minister is the best that has happened to the region in recent time. The performance of Wike in the past nine months is unprecedented. Those who move around Abuja will think that Nigeria has turned into a, Abuja has turned into a construction site. There was serious insecurity in the FCT before the inception of this administration. With the collaboration of the FCT minister, the commissioner of police and other security agencies, Abuja has become relatively safe. Yes, we can assure you we are not yet there. There are still issues in the federal capital territory, but serious progress has been made, and within a short term, it will be Uhuru. The South-South elders say they will continue to garner citizen support for the Tinumbu administration and call on President Bola Tinumbu and Mr. Wiki to stay focused and ensure delivery of more dividends of democracy to the people. Joke Yatsa, TVC News, Abuja. I'm joined now by one of the South South elders, Rafael Okori, on the news at 7. Mr. Okori, thank you for joining us on the news this hour. Why? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Why is the group taking this path at a time where attention is turned to economic challenges under this administration? Um, the economic challenges of a nation can not be removed from the benefits of democracy. Infrastructural development and other things that need to be done by government are indices of good governance. And so what the Minister of FCT is doing is a way of showing that the government is working. His efforts have also built confidence in the World Bank, who has hitherto to say that they will give Nigeria over 15 billion in support. Other international donor agencies are working very hard to see that they support this administration to see that they succeed. There has to be aggregates of efforts. There have to be aggregates of results. There have to be aggregates of things that demonstrate good governance for the international committee to build confidence, confidence in a government and bring in support. Foreign direct investment is flowing in. Other components of economic uh, GDP is growing and other indices. We have stability now in the currency. So this is a welcome development. And we want to tell Nigerians that the indices, the indicators being presented by Governor Yeson Wike is a pointer that the renewed hope agenda is really working and Nigerians are going to be better off for it in a short while. So the FCT minister is one man. His ministry is domiciled in the FCT. Can you say the same as of the other ministers and other sectors of the economy uh, represented under this administration? His Excellency, the Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Shua Jibola Metinibu, GCFR, has demonstrated a strong knack for selecting the best people to govern this country. His team is intact. His team is working very hard from power to telecommunications, to internal security, even to other components of governance. Look at what the Minister of Works is doing. Look at what the Ministry of Justice is doing. You would not have any more of an interference in governance from the Ministry of Justice and then you know, interloping into the activities of EFCC and ICP and the rest of them. So when you govern the proper way, people will be confident in, in your government and people will be willing to work with you so that you achieve greater heights. It's just 12 months in Ashiwaju's administration 
not minding the challenges he met on ground, he hit the ground running, the results are flowing in, and all the ministers are working hard with him, and I'm sure in the next 12 months, Nigeria is going to be out of the doldrums. Mr. Rafael Okore, thank you for talking to us at TVC News at 7. God bless you, my brother. Thank you. Now, the